Well, in the wake of the overturning of Roe v. Wade, it seems that the pro-abortion lobby has been since doing a very good job at exposing themselves for what they are, a bunch of lawless anarchist thugs and criminals and a bunch of marauding wild animals when you get down to it. You know, their behavior has just shown that they're just a bunch of marauding savages who can't stand when they lose and they show their true colors when they lose. It's funny how they're called, they call themselves, you know, it's funny how the Democratic Party fancies themselves as the party of love and tolerance. Meanwhile, this is the kind of stuff they resort to when they lose, okay? I'm gonna read this in the article because this is, what, the, what I'm gonna read in this article is the kind of stuff these, these marauding animals resort to. That simple. They act like they're, they're busy running around like a bunch of wild animals because they've lost, you know? Anyway, this is what the article says. Antifa attack and pepper spray pro-life woman in Seattle. This is on the Post Millennial. Well, this is the kind of stuff. This is the kind of stuff that the love wind side, you know. Oh, we lo we love wind. You know, they lecture us about loving and tolerance. Meanwhile, they resort to this kind of stuff. Bunch of uh, savages is what they are. Savages. Uh, anyway, going to read the article. That's my rant. Uh, that was free, by the way. But it says here on the article, a young pro-life woman was attacked Friday night in Seattle amidst violent protests over the overturning of Roe v. Wade. Post-millennial Kate Katie uh, Divis Court, I think that's how you say it, reported from the Seattle protest and captured the attack on video, showing the woman was pepper sprayed and tackled to the ground by Antifa militants. But remember, these are the guys who are on the side of love and tolerance. They're beating you up and firebombing and burning out your business and attacking you and beating you up and, and assaulting you in the name of love and tolerance. Just keep that in mind. Bunch of, of wild animals. Okay. It says here the woman was joined by another pro-life advocate who had who had and the two have been carrying signs that read "Your body, your responsibility, and life wins." The attack comes as the Seattle protests escalated into violence. Earlier this evening, Davis, Davis Court reported that thousands were gathered outside Seattle's federal building. Prior to the pepper spray attack, a militant protester can be seen trying to deploy pepper spray uh, on, on some pro-life counter-protester, but the spray misfired. You know, well, that's just the kind of nature they have. They're a bunch of, uh, they have a lawless nature, really. It says, uh, the Antifa group broke windows of the nearby buildings and adjoining protest groups began to coincide, coinc uh, co co sorry, coalize with the main protest group downtown. Uh, the woman in question was approached by the post millennials Kate Davis Court prior to the attack. Davis Court asked uh, about what she thought about the overturning of Roe v. Wade when the woman responded, I think it should be up to the states. And that's the thing, too, about this whole thing. It, it wasn't really, you know, it was, yeah, it was about abortion, but really it was about limiting federal power. Because it, all, the, all the, it simply did, because see, overturning Roe v. Wade does not ban abortion, it just, it's a state's rights issue. It's simply just giving states the right to decide. If anything, it's actually the most you know American thing you can do, giving states the right to choose. It's limiting federal power. See these Democrats who say, "Oh, we need to codify Roe v. Wade," they're the ones who are really being un-American because they're they're going against states' rights and letting states decide for themselves, and limiting federal power. So anyway, that's that that's the whole issue of itself. But the bottom line is, is that the pro-abortion lobby has been has done a very good lot of, lots of good work exposing themselves as the lawless marauding animals and wild savages that they are. Uh, in the wake of when they lose. See, the party of love and tolerance resorts to lawless anarchism when they lose legally, or in anything, pretty much. So anyway, don't be deceived by all this insanity. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.